Hey everybody, it's Brian from iSpring and I'm really excited to tell you about iSpring Cam Pro 9, the complete video studio for making explainer videos and much more. If you have Cam Pro as part of iSpring Suite, you can open it by clicking the screen recording button on the PowerPoint ribbon. If you have the standalone version, just double click the icon. Here in the quick start window, you can create a new recording or project or open a recent project over here. Let's start a new project. Now, up here you've got the toolbar, and here's the canvas which shows your video content, and down here's the timeline which has all your clips and callouts. Start a new screen capture with this button right here, and now a little control window pops up. You can record just your screen, just your webcam, or both at the same time, and down here you can choose whether to record a screen area, the full screen, or lock it to a specific application. Choose a preset area here, or fine tune the dimensions right here. Also, here's where you can select a microphone, or mute it if you prefer. There are a few extra settings here, but I'll cover those in another tutorial. Once you're all set up, start recording. During the countdown, you'll see the keyboard shortcut to stop recording, then go ahead and press it when you're done. Now the freshly recorded clips pop up on the timeline, and I can see how they look right here on the canvas. Notice that the clip on the top of the timeline is also on the top of the canvas, and you can also resize them if you want. I can easily trim the clips by dragging the edges like this, and I can also click and drag on the ruler to select a selection, and cut it out. Now check this out. I'm going to select these two over here and drag them over the first two, and that automatically creates a fade transition effect. If I don't want any overlap, I can just open the transitions library, and pick a transition by dragging it to the place I want. Also, you can add extra stuff to your project like video and audio clips, pictures, text, and shapes. Now I'm going to show you how to save and publish. First, let's click the Save button up here, and save our project. Now we can click the Publish button, and here's our options. We can publish directly to YouTube, or iSpring's dedicated LMS or cloud storage, but I'll just publish to a local video file. I can change the size settings right here, and the quality settings right here in this window. The title and destination folder look OK, so let's go ahead and publish. And there we go. I can see an MP4 video file right here in my output folder. Thanks for watching! I know I didn't have time to show you everything in detail in this video, so I invite you to check out the other tutorials and find out more about iSpring Cam Pro 9.